Hey, welcome to Susie and Friends for this week. We have Chris Lamb Sam back again and check out the suit. Awesome. Thank you, Susie. It's good to be back here. Oh, yeah, nice to have you back. Now, this suit, there's a bit of celebrating going on, so we need something very special today, don't Absolutely. We? You know, I dress up when something really awesome happens. Yeah. And, and uh, one of the cool things that's just happened to me and my lovely friend Angela, who yeah. is an illustrator, someone who draws pictures, is we have just, um, well, we've been working on writing our first children's book, and it's pretty exciting. And we get to go and release that children's book yeah. uh, very soon in London. So we're going to hop on an aeroplane and yeah. fly through the sky. And we are going to go to London and release our first book. Big question though, mm -hmm. why London? Well, London is the place where the people live who really liked the idea for our book. So Fantastic. our publisher, the people who make our book, they are called Tate Publishing. And they own a wonderful museum called the Tate Modern Art Museum. Seriously? Seriously. And they really enjoyed a story that we had been working on for quite some time, or a character, I should stay, say. And they said, look, if you write a story about this character, we will, we will look at it. We, we would like to see something with this character. And the character is called Inspector Brunswick. And he's a cat detective who carries a cane a lot like this one right here. Now that and is one cool cane. It is one cool cane, and uh, he's a detective, mm -hmm. and he likes solving mysteries. So, mm. Inspector Brunswick in this book has to solve a mystery of a missing eyebrow at, <laughs> at an art museum. An eyebrow has come off a painting. What has happened to the eyebrow? Well, only Inspector Brunswick will be able to solve this mystery. Fantastic. Mm. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Tate Museum. Yeah, pretty oh, cool. Oh, very good. Pretty cool. A man of many talents. He writes children's songs. He performs all over the country. He publishes children's books, or writes children's books, mm. and he also knows magic tricks. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, this is a pretty cool trick that I would love to teach everyone if that's okay. Yeah. It's using a deck of cards. Now, most people have a deck of cards around their home and when I was a kid I got taught this very simple card trick which is great for entertaining people and it's great for putting smiles on dials and that's the yeah. real magic if you can make people smile and have a bit of joy in their day well then you've done some magic lovely so very simple so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the trick and show you how it's done and Susie can be my wonderful Ooh. lovely volunteer for the trick and then we'll teach you how it's done very simple so basically Susie hello good to see you here and uh, I have a deck of cards with me today and I would like to perform a magic trick if that's all right yes please so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you all these cards now I don't mm -hmm. know where any of the I don't know what any of these cards are so you just show the backs there could you just choose any card from anywhere I won't even look I won't even see what you're doing okay and I want you to look at that card and show everyone out there what your card is okay so have a good look at it okay memorize it in your head Mm -hmm. And then what I want you to do is just pop that on the top on of the, top? the deck. Thank yep. you so much. That's great. So the magic is very, very simple. Basically, what we need to do now is put the deck here. And what I want you to do is cut the deck of cards. Now, I'm not using a pair of scissors, but take, take a pile of cards, cut the deck anywhere you want, and just put it next to that pile ah, there, if okay. you wouldn't mind. So it could be a big pile of cards, yep. it could be a little pile of cards. If you cut that deck for mm -hmm. me... Cut the deck, not the cheese. You, there you don't, do don't not cut, cut the cheese. cheese. <laughs> that is a magic trick. We do not want to be performing. Then you take the other pile that's left and you put it straight on top like that and you oh. join it up. So now what we've done is I have hidden your card yes. somewhere in there. And using the magic of guessing, I will work out where your card is inside this deck of cards. Okay. So what we do now is we start flipping the cards over one by one, just like this. And I'm gonna start looking through the cards and trying to feel when your card might be turning mm -hmm. up. I feel like we've got a little way to go, so I might just speed it up here. Yeah, I haven't, uh, no, I don't think it's that one. Just gonna guess my way through this. Can you remember? No, I don't think it's that one. Oh, no, no, not that one. No. Feel like. We might be getting close to it though, so I've got to make sure I guess, I guess right. Oh no, still feeling like we're. Oh, oh yeah. no, still don't feel like I've quite found it yet. I feel like I'm getting really close though. All right, here we go. Oh, maybe it's this one. <gasps> yes, it is. I don't even know wow. what it is. Yes, the three of diamonds. Fantastic. How about that? Nice Very and easy. Very clever. Do you know how to do this trick? Because I don't. 
<laughs> All right. Well, let's teach everyone, shall we? Yeah, 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 All right. Great. So this is very, very easy peasy. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to put these cards all back together and make sure mm -hmm. that it's all nice and tiny, just like that. And we can even give them a bit of a shuffle. Shuffling is a really good thing to practice, sort of dropping the cards down there sure. like that into your hand, into your other hand. And that's an easy way to shuffle. So if you've never done that before, give it a go. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start again and we are going to get you to choose any card, any card at all. Mm -hmm. So all right. This one here. OK, yep. so show everyone, show everyone out there. OK, so I don't know what that card is. I can't see it. All right. So what you do is you put it back on the top of the deck for me. Thank you. So that's great. And before we do the whole cutting the deck, the trick is this. Have a look very quickly at the bottom card. All right. Four of clubs. Four, that's the card on the bottom of our deck. Just normal there. Very important we remember four of clubs. Okay. And this is why. When you put it down on the table, four of clubs is on the bottom. Susie, your card is on the top. Could mm -hmm. you just cut the deck anywhere for me? Thank you okay. very much. Could be anywhere. And this My is, card is still on the top. There you yes. go. Okay. Fantastic. So then what we do is we take that other pile Oop. like this with our four of clubs that we know secretly in our head. We haven't told them we've been thinking about this. Four of clubs right there on the bottom goes straight down on top of ah. Susie's card. All right, so we okay. know. Well, now we know that the card that comes after the Four of Clubs will be Susie's card. Uh -huh. And then we start talking like we're going to do a good guess. So I'm going to use my power of guessing magic to work out where Susie's card is. is. And then you can do things like, oh, I feel like it I feel like it might be near a black, a black card, maybe. Oh. I don't know. I've just got this feeling. We know. We know that it is next to a black card. I feel like, oh, I think it might be near a club as well, Ooh. maybe. You can start throwing in these little clues that you're making up. I feel like the number four is important somewhere along the line. We might come across the four. All right, so you're going through the cards, you're flipping them over, and you're looking for that four of clubs. There we go, we've hit it. All right. Susie, I reckon that your card might be this one here. Is that right? It is indeed. And then you say, this is your card, mm -hmm. the three of hearts. hearts. Boom. Just like that. Super easy, but super effective. Yeah, a lot of fun. Very, very cool. A very nice, easy trick to start with, and you can do that with a deck of cards absolutely anywhere. Mm, fabulous. Well, thank you very much. Now, we look forward to having a hard copy of that book yes. when it's printed. Thank you, Inspector so, Brunswick, and the case of the missing eyebrow. Excellent. We'll put a, some instructions of how to play this card game down in the description below. If you want to check out the last time Chris was here, or the last couple of times he was here, mm. we'll put the links there. And in a few months' time, when the book is published, we'll put a link just here at the bottom of the screen of how you can find out more about that book. Awesome. Brilliant. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, Susie. See ya. See you guys. Remember, if you enjoyed this Susie and Friends video clip, you can like us, you can subscribe to us, and you're more than welcome to share us with everyone you know. <laughs> we'll have another clip for you next week. Until then, have a fabulous week. And if you want more information, head to www.susie.co.nz. See ya.